Joe Schmidt, what uh, what sort of qualities have you seen out of him so far this spring? A very intelligent player. Um, right now, he's he's operating the entire defense you know, from a communicative standpoint. So he's doing a great job there, and he's uh, you know getting better, respective to the scheme. Right place, right fits. Uh, he's doing a real good job. Can you tell that he was a former walk-on? No. I, you know, I don't. I don't know exactly how to answer that question. I've had some great walk-on players, so scholarship walk-on. I see them all as players, and they're young and developing, and the objective is to develop them. So I don't. Mm. How far ahead is he in his knowledge of the scheme of the rest of the linebackers at this point? He's he's got a there's a significant significant difference. Uh, very bright player. Is that just a how did, a natural thing for him, or is he special? He's just uniquely bright. I mean, I'm talking. You know, uh, to the professional league and all, he's he's a very bright player. How would you characterize uh, where the defensive line is now through their development of this spring? I think it's fair to say that uh, you know, if I took the the D line overall, linebackers and secondary, they're all ascending groups. Mm -hmm. I think the the scrimmage the other day uh, was a bright spot for them respective to both run game and uh, affecting the quarterback. So they're gaining a comfort. Um, so I think ascending is the right word for that particular group. Generally speaking, at about two thirds, three fourths of the way through this thing now, how close are they to what you probably anticipated coming in with installing new schemes and stuff? I think they're a little ahead of what I thought they might be as young players uh, going into spring ball. They, uh, they're doing a good job, good job unwinding uh, a number of different um, calls and defenses. You know, it's multiple for them, and uh, I think they're coming along, doing a doing a better job than I thought they they would in handling it all. How about Jerron Jones specifically? Can you <clears throat> talk, speak about a lot him? better? He's improving. He's improving. Um, you know, as much as we're on him about technique, every time we scrimmage. Uh, or get in a, a, a physical type <coughs> team run, he's productive. You know, as as much as he still has to learn and develop uh, from a from a technique standpoint, uh, he's a productive player. Can't ignore that. Brian, the last time we talked, you guys were throwing a lot at Jalen. How's he taking that? How's he doing with he, it? He's much he's much more settled right now. Yeah. Uh, again, I think it's fair to say they're all ascending right now. Uh, all of them. You know, some at a different rate than others. But I think we settled Jalen down a little bit with, uh, you know, playing uh, outside linebacker consistently. We were kind of, you know, and we and we still may play him at some uh, backer in our sub or nickel pack. <coughs> but right now we kind of moved away from that uh, so we could uh, help him out a little bit and gain some comfort. With Kavari, how has he really handled the transition to playing more press, more man coverage? Well, I think it's good for him. You know, I think he's he's a, a, a skilled enough corner that he can do and use all the tools and techniques that a, that a corner uses. So we want to make sure he can do that, take advantage of that. 